A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. For the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for a denarius a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And going out about the third hour, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And to them he said, You go into the vineyard too, and whatever is right I will give you. So they went. Going out again about the sixth hour and the ninth hour, he did the same. And about the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing. And he said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They said to him, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You go into the vineyard too. And when evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his steward, Call the laborers and pay them their wages beginning with the last up to the first. And when those hired about the eleventh hour came, each of them received a denarius. Now when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received a denarius. And on receiving it, they grumbled at the householder, saying, These last worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for a denarius? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or do you begrudge my generosity? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? These are the words that we hear in today's parable. Jesus speaking of the kingdom of God, comparing it to a household and the owner of this household who goes out to find laborers at various times of the day. All of these laborers come and work. Some work a full day, some work a half a day, some only work one hour. At the end, they all receive the same pay. Scripturally, a denarius was sufficient to, to keep a family alive. It was an, a fair day's wage that would keep a family alive. So this landowner was, uh, was looking out for the welfare of the household. Not simply equal pay for each person, but a just pay. A just pay. Doing what is necessary to protect and take care of those people in his area. What can you and I learn about this today? The Lord has so many gifts to give all of us. But very often we compare the gifts that we receive to the gifts that other people have received. We do not know their story. We don't know what they've been through. We don't know the crosses they've carried, the ups and downs that they've had. Their life is a mystery to us. The Lord knows the details though. The scripture passage this Sunday reminds us to be grateful for what we have. Comparison is, is the start of so many bad feelings towards other people and to God. This comparison leads to ingratitude, resentment, envy, jealousy, and none of those are from God. So rather than compare, be grateful. And one of the best ways that we can show our gratitude to the Lord is to be generous with what we have. And so brothers and sisters, the solution for the greed that, that is uh, consuming our world, the envy, the resentment, the jealousy, the solution, the, the, the tool that God gives us to fight that is gratitude and generosity. Gratefully recognizing all that we have. Even when things aren't going so well, we still have the gift of life. And that is worth being grateful for. And with that very life, the Lord calls us to love Him and serve Him in all that we do, loving especially our brothers 
and sisters, loving our neighbor, being generous with them. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? The Lord loves all of us perfectly. He loves us all differently. He loves each and every one of us in the way that we need to be personally loved. So brothers and sisters, do not compare the gifts that you've received from the Lord with the gifts of other people, but rather be grateful to the Lord for them and be generous with them to your brothers and sisters for the sake of the kingdom.